The Midday Report with our exclusive Mind Bullets. News from the future. future. Mind the Midday Report with our exclusive Mind Bullets. News from the future. Good afternoon. The date... Friday the 13th of February, the year 2022. The place, Hong Kong, where panic has erupted in Silicon Alley following the discovery that a computer virus has infected a human being. The latest outbreak of SARS has been traced to an implanted chip. Thousands of people are besieging their service providers, demanding the immediate removal of their chip implants. It was confirmed late last night that the first person to die in the current epidemic, Chen Li, had been using a programmable insul chip under the skin to regulate his diabetic condition. Well, we're not in the year 2022, but let's imagine we might be. And to take us on a road that leads into the future and computer viruses infecting humans, we say good afternoon and welcome to Wolfgang Groker, chairman of Future World. Wolfgang, what were the facts leading up to Chen's death? Over the past two decades, we've seen experiments with implanted chips turning into what today are everyday medical realities. It's estimated now that more than 20 million diabetics worldwide have these chip implants to control their diabetes. It's a simple 15-minute procedure to have one implanted. Also, cell phones, of course, have become even more pervasive and much smarter. They're way beyond where personal computers were back in 2010. They run sophisticated operating systems that are being targeted by computer viruses. One of these viruses managed to jump across from Chen's smartphone onto his diabetic chip. It infected the chip's operating system, and that created a synthetic SARS virus within his body. Really a computer-generated virus, but turned into a physical reality. So once again, we're looking at the line between computer and human blurring. Well, we've gone way beyond that already. The only question that seems to be uh, left today is that, you know, should we consider a computer with massively human characteristics to be alive? And if such living machines... Um, uh, exist, do they have the right to protection under the same Bill of Rights that we fall under? Wolfgang, what are the implications of this for society and for business? You know, of course, this whole uh, thing uh, is not new, um, the combination of computer and um, human characteristics. It all started to get popular acceptance way back in 2004, when a Spanish nightclub started offering chip implants to its VIP customers giving them access to the VIP areas, automatic bill payments, and so on. Within months, thousands of young people, uh, you know, customers of this club, took up the offer. And the industry of these chip implants really never looked back. Back then, it was quite scary to us, but our kids jumped at the chance. Today, in 2022, it's their kids who have never known a world without this technology. Wolfgang Grolke, Chairman of Future World. Of course, we're not in the year 2022, but in 2004. You've been listening to Mind Bullets, news from the future. Scenarios of how the future may evolve. What will be the implications for you and your business if it does? To subscribe and join in the debate, go to www.mindbullets.net.